Former President Donald Trump recently told a supporter of his that he doesn't look gay. Thank you very much. It's gay, Mr. Trump. We did great with the gay population. You don't look gay. What is what is a gay supposed to look like? Uh, honestly, like what what kind of question is this? Like, oh, you don't look gay. Uh, okay, uh, but seriously, what does that even mean? Does like Donald Trump think that there's some sort of flashing neon sign that's supposed to be above a gay person's head? This is gay. Like a label? I don't understand. I don't know. I don't understand. Like this super old school homophobia. I mean, you want to talk about stereotypes, right? The, the gay is not a look. Gay is not an aesthetic. <laughs> it's it, it's it's basically it's who you it's who you are attracted to, who you love. That's it. I, I mean, seriously. But now going from Trump, because we know Trump's a, a, a doofus, right? He's a doofus, he's a dipshit, he's, he believes in all these old school stereotypes about, you know, black people, gay people, uh, you know, Asian people, you, you name, you name it. He believes the stereotypes about them. It really is strange. Uh, it's bizarre. But no, let's go to the group itself, okay, and their reaction to this, because I think it's really telling. Uh, Peter Boykin, the founder for, of Gays for Trump, recently spoke to Newsweek about this. And he said, um, and by the way, Boykin uh, said the person that Trump had addressed probably wouldn't look gay because it's a stereotype that fits more with the typical look of leftist LGBT. Not saying some of us might look fabulous and gay. Now, uh, apparently he said, um, Boykin... Uh, Boykin said that a person in this group would blend in with the non-gay guests unless they decided to wear a flamboyant outfit. But uh, apparently that, that was a joke. Kind of a terrible joke. Okay. Uh, right. So, <laughs> look. Um, oh, uh, by the way, the, there's one more statement here. Gays for Trump, he said, is a nationwide movement full of various types of gays and the gay community has a lot of diversity. The difference is the gays for Trump lean right. Okay, but why? Why? Why would you? Why, that's the question. That's the, that's always a question that I have for a person who is gay. That's a Republican. Why be if you are gay, part of a party that hates you? I just I don't understand. I just don't understand. Uh, yes, he's right um, in, in saying there was one part about that statement uh, that was right. Yes, gay people are a diverse group of people. But it, it's not like, oh, we have a small difference of opinion on some very select, you know, political issues. No, the Republican Party, first of all, doesn't believe that gay people should have rights. They consistently, members consistently link gay people with pedophilia and again, want to deny them civil rights. I mean, again, you look at all the anti-LGBTQ plus laws that Republicans are pushing all over the country. Why would you support that? If, you, if you're a gay person, you vote for Republicans, it's, you're voting for someone to strip all of your rights from you. Why would you do that? Why would you want to do that? And of course, we know the answer. Because look, uh, these gay, a lot of these gay Republican groups, there's one thing that they all have in common. They're wealthy. They're rich. Again, Dave Rubin. Dave Rubin is a very wealthy gay right winger. Now, the reason that he's wealthy is because he helps demonize the left. Now he says, oh, I, I, I'm from the left. Uh, I didn't leave the left, the left left me. No, 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 no. There's, there's no part about Dave Rubin that is the left. No, but what he is, is a useful tool. That's what he is. Willing to sell himself out to anything for money. Boykin, 
He's another use, uh, useful tool. But see, you look, you see how they look at gay people, though. They're a punchline. That's what it is. It's a punchline. Hey, let's all laugh at the gay because he doesn't fit my outdated stereotype of who I think the people are. Again, the only thing that he said that was true is that gay people are a diverse group of people with diverse opinions. Uh, and apparently, and look, by the way, you can be a gay person and, and believe in like smaller government, lower tax rates, and things like that. Okay, fine, but why would you, again, align yourself with people that despise you? That literally, in a lot of cases, want you dead. Now, you remember a lot of the, uh, or at least some of the major donors, um, going back to, for example, the family who supported Mike Lindell, supported Donald Trump, they uh, would send out people to other countries to lobby for, in some cases, anti-LGBTQ laws, anti-gay laws that would put gay people to death. You're going to support that side? You're going to be a member of that side? Oh, but again, I'm, just gonna, I'm trying to change the party. with it. No, there's no changing that party. There's no changing that base. That base is who they are. They despise gay people. They despise member, members of the LGBTQ plus community, and they want them dead at the end of the day, or not to exist. Shove them back in the closet. They believed in, uh, you know, so-called gay reparative therapy. But they were essentially torture people and say, oh, th that's how we get rid of the gay. No, it's torture and it doesn't work. Disgusting. And so what's really disgusting is the portion of people uh, who are in that community who are gay that are more than willing to sell out members of their own group just to make a quick buck. That's all it is. And you can find people like that, members of any group. And they're all the same kind of pre uh, people, just disgusting and looking only out for themselves.